Hello and welcome to this video information on cataract surgery. In this video, we're going to cover some of the key information that you'll need to know before coming through for your cataract surgery with us at NHS Tayside. You'll have received a paper leaflet on cataract surgery, and you should read that as well as watching this video. And if you have any further questions or queries, we'd be more than happy to answer those with you in person as part of your journey with us. A cataract is clouding of the lens inside your eye. Normally the lens is clear and helps to focus light entering the eye. When cataract develops, it can cause problems with the sight entering the eye, leading to blurring either for distance or for near or for both, and sometimes glare, which can interfere with tasks like driving or seeing when the sun is low in the sky. When the cataract starts to affect your quality of life or the pleasures of sight, it can be treated with surgery. Cataract surgery involves the cloudy lens being removed and replaced with an artificial lens implant. The operation happens as a day case in hospital. Most people have their operation under a local anaesthetic. This means that you'll be awake but you won't feel pain during the operation. One cataract operation usually takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes and involves you lying down flat and as still as possible for this time. Although the calculations and measurements done before the surgery may have been correct, you may still find that you need reading glasses for distance and near afterwards to give you the best possible vision. There are some alternative lens implants available which aim to correct both distance and near vision. As the results are variable, they are not available under the NHS and only available privately. The intended benefit of cataract surgery is to improve your vision. Cataract surgery is safe and is the most common operation performed worldwide. But like all procedures, there are risks and things can go wrong. And some of these you should know about and understand. Uncommonly, cataract surgery can be complicated, and in these circumstances, your vision may not improve, and the recovery period could be extended, and occasionally, further surgery is required. Very rarely, for less than one in a thousand patients going through the procedure, a bleed or an infection getting inside the eye can lead to loss of sight and occasionally to blindness. Although this is rare, it's important to be aware of these risks before going ahead with the surgery. You will find a full list of the risks in the cataract leaflet we supplied. And if you have any further questions on any of these, you'd be welcome to discuss that with us further. After your operation, it's important to remember that your vision will be blurry for some time. And for that reason, we ask you not to drive home. Before you go home, you will be given some eye drops and clear instructions on how to use them. We give you information on when your post-operative follow-up is, which is usually done by your optometrist in the community. Most people are able to drive quite soon after having their cataract operation. However, there are some circumstances where there may be an imbalance in your vision. You should ask a member of staff for individual advice about driving after your cataract operation. Your eye may be slightly red and sore after your operation, and this should improve after a few days. You should use over-the-counter painkillers such as paracetamol to help with any discomfort. If the pain becomes severe or if you feel your vision's dropped, you should call us for advice. This concludes our information video on cataract surgery. We hope it's been helpful and we look forward to seeing you on the day of surgery itself. If you need any further help or support, please call us on the provided number for advice.